All right, what is up friends and fellow anti-netters? I wanna show you something. I was reading this tweet today and I'm just gonna pull it up and show you it. It's from this guy named Ramses and I'm not even gonna fricking bother on how the hell you pronounce that last name. Look, I even had to look up how the hell to pronounce his first name. So it's apparently Ramses. Anyway, this Ramses guy, he's pretty cool. I've seen him around, uh, we kind of, I, I believe we might have clashed on a few things because I'm, you know, an analog knowledge revolutionary and I, you know, espouse writing things out by hand. Uh, anyway, but, you know, his stuff is pretty good. And I've followed him for a little bit or seen his stuff. I don't follow anyone on Twitter, but it gets recommended to me. So anyway, I saw this post earlier today. It said, why are video based courses so expensive? If I spend hundreds of dollars, I want more than a series of talking head videos, you know, a worksheet or even some slides. I'm baffled how often a $20 book is more actionable and memorable than $200 to $2,000 video courses. Okay, so this is something, I, I was actually thinking of making a video last week about this, is I feel the exact same way, and I think a lot of other people do as well. I agree with Ramses, and I have been for the past year working on this like top secret incubator where I'm basically taking people under my wing and helping them, basically cloning my entire business and helping them create a lifestyle where they get to spend their life like reading, thinking, and you know, taking some notes all day and also making a hell of a living. I'm talking a multi six figure living. And you know, for me, I like writing. So I write one thing a month and I get to enjoy this life. It's not one of those like freaking Dan Co solopreneur lifestyles where, you know, the guy, you know, secretly, same with a lot of the other solopreneurs, secretly work like, you know, 18 hours a day and just prostitute themselves on Twitter all day. No, I'm about the quiet life, the how do you make six figures just writing one thing by hand every single month. And so here's what I've been doing is I hate the actual, you know, the whole concept of like, courses. Now, in in my training, like when I take people under my wing, and this is how I was taught as well, is I basically am installing everyone that basically comes under my wing, I have them write out by hand certain cards. And this is over over weeks, okay? So it's not like this is like can be done in like three minutes a day where I walk my people through it. That way, once they're done, and this is I'm not even done yet, like once they're done, they have this wealth of knowledge that is like you know, basically sits with them forever for the rest of their life. And they work out their ideas on their actual Zettel costume. And I actually show them, here's how to number it. You know, like here's the numbers, here's how to like do everything, right? And so I think that's one of the best ways to learn is to learn by doing, okay? And so like here's, I've just redlined, this is my upcoming issue number 10 of my physical monthly newsletter. And I'm basically teaching the best framework for telling the background and the story about your product. And I'm doing it by actually using Zettelkasten cards. And, you know, this is something, this is how I learned. And you have to learn the hard way. Like, I'm going to see if I can even find it in my own Zettelkasten. It's somewhere. But uh, there's this course, and it is, it was, um, I can look it up. I'll just look it up right now. We can look it up live. We'll figure this out. So it's under, I think it's under headlines. If I remember correctly, and mind you, I haven't looked at this in like at least a year. These this headline section, okay? So let's find it. Let's see. Let's see. We'll actually prove out if if uh, you know the analog Zettelkasten actually works. So okay, you know, and usually when you're working with a section, you don't have to like you know look up and look up stuff that you've written in the past so so far in the past so i think it's actually under sales sales letters um and this would be a lot faster if i wasn't holding a freaking camera in my right hand as i'm doing this like uh here it is okay sales letters swipe sales letters number one killer sales letters is mine written out by hand okay so it's like in 5200 somewhere so let's just navigate over here and yep here it is okay so all of these, I've actually written out, this was taught by um, Gary Halbert's protege, Scott Haynes. He said, if you wanna actually learn how to do advertising and copywriting, you need to write out the 300 best headlines by hand. And that's what I did. And like that course, right? Or quote unquote course, 
it's 10 times better than me just staring in front of stupid slides and some guy talking and rambling for an hour in front of slides, okay? I have this knowledge. I've written it out. He basically, his course was, uh, it was, hey, here are 300 headlines. I want you to write these out on a, you know, an index card by hand. And I did this like, you know, three or four years ago. Uh, what was it? It was 2019, so four years ago, right? And I still have this and I, you know, review it from time to time. This is 10 times better than just some freaking video course. Look, that's pretty much the extent of it, is here's how to actually use a Zettelkasten to teach your basically training. And I think this is 10 times better if you can teach with cards than just sitting in front of slot, a slides, a slide presentation, and teaching people, you know, by just rambling and sitting in front of slides for like an hour, okay? And so it's funny, it's like, you know, my, my program that I've been developing for the past year is basically I teach them and I have them write out by hand certain concepts that I want them to install in their head. And then I head over, there's no freaking slides. And then I head over and like, I've cloned my entire business here and I just head over and screen share and sh say, hey, um, I want you to, you know, like basically edit this section. This is my software platform, GreenLamp, okay? Basically, I've cloned my entire business for them inside GreenLamp, okay? And then basically I'm saying, okay, hey, uh, here's the template. This is what, you know, makes me six figures a year. I'm cloning this into your account. Screen share with me and follow these steps. And then I'm going to be here with you and work with you on how to do it. So that's what I really recommend. If you want to actually, you know, people when they take a course, okay, they just want results. How do you get them results? You don't get them results by fricking farting around in front of slides and talking to people. And that's what so many people do. I, I paid $1,500 like six months ago for this Ali Abdal course. And it was just him talking in front of a camera. You know, it's supposed to be on how to like, you know, uh, you know, it was part-time YouTuber Academy. And I, I literally went through like half of one video and I, I haven't gone through any of it at all, okay? at all. And look, it's like usually $1,500 would be enough to motivate someone to actually finish a course. It's not. I'm like, God, like it's way better to actually learn by doing, learn by writing, learn by creating knowledge, and then learn by actually being trained and hey, fill, fill this out, do this instead of just freaking slides and you being a talking head in front of a camera. So Ramses, I couldn't freaking agree more if we've, if we've disagreed on other things, that's fine. But man, you are freaking right. And um, that's what I want to say is I believe that actually using note cards, physical knowledge tools, you know, devices, meaning note cards, analog knowledge and writing it out by hand is 10 times better if you want to teach people via that mechanism than via slides. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Hope that gives you an idea for uh, how to teach people. And I don't see anyone else doing this uh, besides that, that uh, previous protege from Gary Halbert who passed away, sadly, like I think like six, six or eight years ago. Uh, but there's no one else besides yours frickin' truly. So anyway, peace and love. And always remember to stay crispy, my friend. Later.